Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on this channel. Um, so in today's video, I have my dragon collection. So, the thing with the dragons, um, I do not know the dates of them because it's not written on them, but I'm pretty sure all of them are Safari LTD except for one. So let's get into this. This bad boy right here was my first ever dragon that I've owned. I've had this one for years. Um, it is Safari LTD. This guy is just super cool. I love this guy a lot. Um, he's like the character that I have him as. It's like that old man dragon. Um, badass, you know, like that. Um, I like this guy. The detail on this guy is crazy. Um, he's kind of flimsy though. Like I can bend him very easily. Same with the wings. Like the wings would be the first part to break, I think. And one of them up here, it already has a split in it. Um, but I've had this guy for probably like four, maybe five years even. So uh, this guy's old. Um, so yeah, I really like this one. It's really cool. The next one I have, this guy actually says uh, 2011 on the wing here, but it doesn't have a brand, but I, it's this one's either Schleich or Safari LTD. Um, my bet is more on Safari LTD. Um, yeah, the prices of the Safari LTD dragons, they're not that expensive. Like, I think Schleich, uh, they can have some of them that are like $20. Like, these ones are probably like $10, depending on where you get them or where you live. Um, but I got a lot of my Safari LTD characters um, at Michael's um, store in the US, if you're familiar with it, or you might not be. Um, but Safari LTD dragons, they're not too terribly expensive, which is another reason I like them. Um, this guy's got a ton of detail. This one I've had for a very long time as well, probably four or five years. Um, but yeah, this guy's got so much detail. He's pretty cool. I like this guy. So. This dragon is obviously Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. Uh, if, if you haven't seen this, that movie, that's very, very surprising. There are uh, all, like, how many movies were there? Like, three or four of them? Like, all of them are super cool. And they're just so, the animation's so beautiful and stuff, you know? Uh, that movie was really cool. So this is, uh, it's an off-brand. It's just, like, some Walmart toy that I got. Um, really bad material and stuff. It's just, like you know like an off-brand type of thing like you can see a bolt or like a screw in there um but i reason i have this one as third is because like this one was also like one of my first dragons so like those first three that you saw were some of my first ones that i've gotten um and yeah here is my only purple dragon. I think the color of this one is really pretty. It's the same one as, uh, like, the same model, uh, same style as the first one. It's just a different paint style. Uh, this one's pretty cool. Um, this one was a newer one that I've gotten, like, maybe two years ago. Um, I haven't bought dragons in a long time, but the newer ones I have, the detail, well, this one's pretty good because it's the same model as the other one, but the other newer ones I have, the quality isn't as good as the older ones, but they're still cool. I, li I love the color of this one. This one's really neat. Now we're getting into the newer Safari LTD ones. I know these, uh, the rest of the dragons that I show are Safari LTD. I know that for sure. Um, like, okay, the detail is really good. Um, paint job could be better, but then again, these are really old too, so, um, but the wings, they're really plastic, kind of like the same material that Toothless was made out of, um, so the wing quality, not good, it looks really cool, this part's really cool right here, um, show that up closer, um, the way they look is cool, but the stuff they're made out of is really cheap, it seems like, um, but, like, why these ones I think are worse is because, they're super, super flimsy. Um, they have so much great detail, which is amazing. Um, but just the quality of the material isn't as good. But this one's pretty cool. Now we got this guy. So this guy's pretty cool. He's got two legs and then like his hands are on his wings. That's pretty cool, I think. Um, he's, this guy has super crazy detail. Um, just the scales are amazing on him. It's just... Like, with the issue with the other ones is that it's super, super flimsy. Uh, not here or anything, just the wing material is 
it, 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 the wings would be the first part to break. Um, this guy, his face is super cool. It's really cool. Um, the wing is kind of bent um, because it's been in the bottom of um, like a, what is it called? Like a bin full of toys. So like that, all of my dragons, their wings are kind of like bent because of that. But um, I've had this guy for years. I don't know if the tail is supposed to be like that, if it's broke or, I don't know. Um, got warped, I'm not sure. Um, but this guy, he's got crazy detail. Like, look at the back here on the top of the wings. Top of the wings look pretty cool, but then the bottom is just all flat and it's like bad, but this guy's really cool. Here's a gold dragon. This one's pretty cool. Um, first thing, wings, material really bad. It's super, super thin super flimsy that would be the first thing to break like the other ones um this one doesn't have as much detail it's pretty like the face of it, it's really pretty um but then that doesn't have as much scale detail as the others underneath of it pretty good it's just the quality of this one is probably the worst out of all of them um probably my least favorite dragon i have uh but it's still pretty cool um just yeah, there's not a lot of scale detail, which is a bummer. So this is a 2015 Spire LTD. Um, this guy did have the label on its wing, I just noticed that. Um, this guy might be my favorite dragon. Um, I love green uh, and green on the dragon. I think it's so cool. The face, super epic. Like, It's darker than the rest of the body, which is cool. Um, just the detail on the scales like on the face it's just amazing the teeth and just a lot the body the neck it's got like muscle muscles it's like muscular um the bottom of it pretty cool i like the hands the hands or the paws whatever you call it pretty cool um tail it would be cool if it was longer and maybe had like more spikes but it's pretty cool um but the quality of the wings are terrible. It's the quality is like the gold dragon. Um, super, super flimsy, super, super thin. Um, and there's not a lot of detail on the wings. So the wings are the worst part of it. That would definitely be the first thing to break. But other than the wings, this dragon is so cool. Like look at the back, you know, like this guy's gotta be my favorite. And you know, what? I use him as an older version of this one. Um, I just think he's cute, um, yeah, um, so that's my dragon collection. I can't fit them all in frame, but these three are my favorites out of all the dragons I have. I don't have very many, but these guys are definitely my favorites. They're very cool, and yeah, so that's my dragon collection. Comment down below, um, what you would like to see next, and uh, check out the polls because I post polls every now and then um, you guys voted on dragons So here you get the dragons. Um, so yeah, uh, stay tuned and I would like to thank you all so much for watching and I would appreciate it if you subscribe All right, and I hope you all have an awesome day